Lord Howard's opposition to the government's internal market bill is rather ironic, because he never put up with dissent within the Tory ranks when he was party leader, a Conservative MP has claimed. Daniel Kaczynski, Tory MP for Shrewsbury and Atcham, made his remarks as the Lords voted to strip out key elements of the legislation after a lengthy debate in the upper chamber in a move which is unlikely to impress Boris Johnson with time rapidly running out to seal a trade deal with the EU. The bill is highly controversial because it gives the government powers to override certain aspects of the withdrawal agreement with the EU, and therefore, by the admission of Northern Ireland Secretary Brandon Lewis, breaches international law. During his speech in the chamber prior to the vote, Lord Howard said it would be hard to criticise other countries for failing to stick to the rules of the UK did not. However, Mr. Kaczynski was unimpressed, telling Express, he would never tolerate any deviation from party line is how I remember him, so this is rather ironic. Mr. Kaczynski, a long-term critic of the Lords added, the government must not cave in to the demands of these unelected and unaccountable Lords over an issue of such a monumental constitutional impact. The Commons has spoken and we acknowledge how essential the internal market bill is to the sanctity of our new independence and sovereignty. Lord Howard said nothing has changed since Mr. Lewis' admission. He said, since then, as far as I am aware, no government minister has sought to resile from his words. Instead, what ministers have done, both in your lordship's house and elsewhere, is to seek to make the case that circumstances make it expedient to break international law. ISNT that what lawbreakers always say. ISNT that the excuse of lawbreakers everywhere. What sort of a precedent is the government setting when it admits that position? Lord Howard added, how can we reproach other countries, Russia, China, Iran, if their behavior becomes reprehensible when we ourselves have such scant regard for the treaties we sign up to, when we ourselves set such a lamentable example? Highlighting suggestions that opposition to the bill was fueled by a lingering desire to thwart Brexit, he said, that suggestion has a very dangerous implication for those who advance it. It implies that only those who voted for us to remain in the European Union care about the rule of law, or the importance of keeping one's words, or the sanctity of international treaties.